Salutations, this is Grim Tavell. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Caves of Cud. Uh, we are, as always, Deashkris, uh, the uh, not quite Berserker, but we're getting very close to being, being able to get the Berserk skill. Um, we've got some nice armor and weapons now. Uh, we've got our fixed mirror shades, chainmail, uh, right, our skull. Uh, let's change that. We're done trading now. And let's put on... Oh, did I sell it? I did, didn't I? I sold the helmet. Did I sell it to you? That was a mistake. Um, yeah, I sold it to you. Uh, I want that back. <laughs> Can I get that back? Um, please? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yep, thank you. Um, all right, we lost. Well, that was a bit of a loss there, but uh, that's okay. We've got the Celestine skull cap. Um, still wearing this Bernoos. We do have a better, uh, like, shawl to put on our back, but it makes apes angry at us, and I don't really want to have apes angry at us. It just gives us some cold resist. All right, we're leaving. Um, we're going to go back again, a uh, third, fourth time, to... Um, where is it? We're looking for... We have yet to find the... Dromad caravan that the re that's within a parasing of the remote pig farm that they're talking about. We found a ton of caravans, but not that one. It could be over here. Yeah, all right. Let's go over here. And from here, we just did it. We did it. It's right here. Wonderful. Excellent. All right, we'll talk to that caravan. The salt hopper shouldn't be any problem anymore. Uh, let's charge it. Yeah, easy. Um, my charge is on a cooldown. That's okay. We can kill this guy too. How much XP do you give us now, Mr. Tortoise? 62. All right. Uh, where is the caravan? Oh, here they are. Whoa, what? Okay. Um, they should definitely ask you to, like, confirm leaving that message. Uh, no, I meant, let's trade. What do you have? Uh, let's take a look at your leather armor here. Um, it's engraved with a scene for the life of the Sultan Idates. Uh, and another scene for the life of the Sultan Yushir. So Idates, um, deep in the wilds of Ak, uh, stumbled upon a clan of baboons performing the secret ritual. And they accepted her into their folds and taught her their secrets. And with Yushir, um, after a bout of brain mites, Yushir uh, died, uh, or the Sultan died. And because Yushir demanded it, he was chosen as the successor. Interesting. All right, two pieces of information. Um, do you have anything we really want? We don't have a ton to sell anymore. Although, if we do have anything to sell, we should sell it because you've got silver nuggets. Um, I don't think we have anything, really. Uh, we might as well exchange five copper nuggets for a silver nugget. That's just good sense. Um, we could use another water skin, maybe. Do we have anything at all to sell? No, not really. Um, okay, there you go. Cool, cool. So we did it. We found it. We can leave again. Uh, and immediately go back here to Tamrakish. Talk to the Tinker. Uh, have a hot meal. And I've located a Dromad Caravan. Tamrakish Recoil comes with um, a very low charge um, recoiler. We accept the Barathramite quest, which is something that always happens. You always get this quest. Okay. So now that that's done, let's talk to the warden again. Uh, I think you're the warden. No, you're a hunter. Um, you are. Let's do the water ritual with you. Um, we could have you join us if we get our reputation high enough. Or the elder. Um, let's share a secret with you. Goatfolk Village. 
Oh, was a reputation minus 50 before? Yeah, let's get it up again. Cool. It's 50. Oh, did I ask you for a secret? Is that what I did? I don't think so. All right, live. Yeah, no, I didn't. We didn't have the uh, the reputation with them for them to even give us a secret. All right, so we got a reputation up a little bit with wardens, but let's talk to uh, the village mayor, elder. Oh, no, you weren't over here. Um, over this way. Hello. Oh, that's the apple farmer's daughter. Where did... There's the tumbling pod. Oh, there. The sensible. Emo boss. Um, yeah, you could join us. I think it's a good idea. We have a lot of reputation. I think we can even learn this meal. Why not? And then ask you to join us. Cool. We have our first follower here. Now, you're going to be pretty weak at first. Um, oh, what do you have here? Sweet beard glands. I'm going to take those from you. Um, you just have a hand axe. We'll give you stuff as we get better stuff. I guess I could give you one of these things. Um, do I give you this? Sure. Take this steel short sword. Um, and as we find better stuff, we'll give it to you. You can also be a mule for us. Uh, we might as well give you this leather armor. Take the Nullworm skull for now. Take the armlet. Take the moccasins. Okay. Uh, great. We have our first follower. Um, I was thinking that we have this recoiler. Was it under miscellaneous? No, it's under... Where is it? Trinket? There it is. We have a Forgotten Ruins recoiler um, that we got from a random quest. I'm going to use it and see what it does, where it takes us. All right, we discovered Forgotten Ruins. I don't know where we are on the map. Can I check? Oh, we're all the way over here. Okay. That's cool. Um, that helps us get to the six-day stilt, which we might as well go to. We have a lot of water. I'm feeling pretty strong. Let's venture to the six day still. You're neutral. What we got here? Woolly leather boots. Those look pretty nice. And a failed energy. Okay, yeah. Um, we have leather boots right now. So we might as well wear woolly ones, which I assume give us, yeah, resistance, which is nice. And our other boots we can give to our companion. Um, please. Wait, where are they? Up here? Yeah. Cool. Uh, what, are you wearing all the stuff? Yes, you're wearing all the stuff. So you have Ghostly Flames, which I believe is a spell. And you're wielding an artifact, and I don't know what it is. Um, we better stay ahead of him so that we can take out these things. Oh, you're, that thing is neutral. That's fine. Slugs. Ooh, a canteen. Nice. And a weird artifact. I think I'm not going to try... Oh, that is a uh, chain gun turret. Let's uh, not get near it. Uh, that is a shrine to Idates. Um, nah. While traveling alone in Ak, Adates got into a tavern brawl. From then on, she always kept some bones hidden on her person. Interesting. Um, this should be fine. Um, 
Okay. We got poisoned by our companion. But uh, Yimu Boss did something to the turret to destroy it. We're going to run back. Can we be healed from poison? I honestly don't know. Are we dead? Uh, we could use the Tamarakish Recoiler and maybe try to get healed? I don't know what we can do. Um, yeah, you know what? Just to be safe, let's immediately use that Recoiler. Oh. Replace the cell. Great. Here we are. Oh, okay. The poison's not even affecting us anymore. We're fine. We're fine. Um, all right. Well, we're here anyway. Uh, and since we're here, we might as well get that artifact identified. Yes. Poison gas grenade. Okay. Is that also what you have? Yeah, I think you threw some kind of poison grenade. And it did destroy the thing. Um, let's use that recoiler again. Okay. Place the cell. Use this one. Activate it. Okay. Uh, we might as well take this solar cell out so it charges up again. Is that how it works? I don't know. No, uh, I said replace the cell. Yeah, there we go. Uh, um, I'd love to get the loot from that gun. Oh, run back. Oh! Okay. Are you hurt at all? No. Can we charge you? No. Can I charge you now? Sure can. Wow, we really got hurt there. I think we can kill you. Yeah, we did. Restal healed. That's a lot of slugs. Nice reward. That was scarier than I thought it would be. Um, they're listed as average, so I didn't think it would do so much damage to us, but I should be more careful about that in the future. I think our companion actually really helped out there. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, so let's go back to where that first turret got destroyed, and we'll pick up even more slugs there. Very impressive. Okay, and that's, that's it for there. To the stilt. Um, look at us go. We're not getting uh, lost at all here. Sweet. Here we at the six-day stilt. Um, let's talk to some folks. Novice of the Sightless Way. Okay. I want to talk to that guy with the hood. Warden's Esther. Oh, you just went to sleep. That's too bad. Mechanimus Preacher. Live and drink. Um, you. You are Tsapur, Disciple of the Coiled Lamb. So this guy... We'll do the water ritual with him. Um, okay. Fish like us less, but the Hindrin of the Bay Law like us a little more. Oh, we could learn first aid from you. Yes, please. That is uh, what you use bandages for to staunch wounds. That's great. That is very nice. Uh, who is Reshef? Uh, a spiritual person of kith and kin who did so much for us and who lead me and others like, him, uh, like me to the path of healing. For above all, he was a healer. He dressed the wounds of the sick and rid the land of the plagues of the gear. Geyer. He was also a sultan, but he was the last sultan. He unbricked the walls of monocracy so we could pick berries in the orchards they hid. And what's inside the tent? 
A quiet shrine to the coiled lamb, centuries old, tucked away here outside the marble parapets and cloaked in the dust of time, it's lost to those who'd sneered at the veneration of Reshef over their fathers. Over other fathers. Step inside to voice a prayer if you are willing. Um, cool. An engraved artifact. Can we look at that? Uh, with the Sultan Yashid. A ceremony that lasted a full year, Yashid cemented his friendship with succulents by marrying Gotz Shelilotse, legendary aloe pyra. In celebration of the ceremony, these succulents bestowed upon Yashid a wedding gift they called Unineka Succulents Favor. Great piece of information there. Just wonderful. Um, okay. Cool. Can you identify this stuff for me? No. So this guy, the more information we give him about Reshef, the more experience points we get. Let's go for that. So here's this shrine to Reshef. Just looking at it gives us some information. While traveling alone to the Rust Wells, Reshef came across a trove of gleaming stars in a bottle. From that day forth, he always kept some stardust on his person. And um, we can pray here. And now let's talk to this dude again. We can share a secret from Reshef's life. We have a couple. Um, there's this one that we just learned. And there's also this one that we learned earlier. Uh, from, I think, looking at something else. Uh about him becoming known as Reshef the Coiled Lamb of Badal. So we'll we'll tell him that, and we got 250 XP. We'll learn, We'll tell him the other one, and we get 500 XP, gaining a level. And every secret we give him uh, gives us more and more experience, which is really nice. So whenever we find out any information about Reshef, we should come back here. Oh, look at that cold and heat resistance. Um, so our strength is not 29 yet, but we have enough skill points to get Berserk when we finally get it there. And I think next level, we should get it there, which means we have 60 skill points to spend. However, um, Shield Slam costs 100. Um, Tinkering 1, I think, costs maybe even 200 uh, to get Baseline Tinkering and then Tinker 1. Oh, we need 19 Intelligence for that anyway. And we need two more Intelligence for that. So it's going to be a little bit. Okay. Cool. So, ah, and this guy will give us another quest. First, let's eat here. We are hungry. Hot and spiny. That's nice. That's a very nice meal. Um, what was that called? Hot and spiny. Um, Lulahart, the Hindrin Pariah. Um, are we looking for work? Well, let's do the water ritual with him. Bears like us less now. We can share a secret with you. Uh, well, yeah, we'll give you this recipe that we have. And you can give us more reputation. Here's some forgotten runes. Great. Live and drink. Um, so this is an interesting quest line. Um, I think this is an optional quest, and it can be very difficult. But I don't think there's any penalty for not doing it. So we'll just say we, we are. Lovely, take a seat. Chew the bark with me, and I will tell you what I know. I've heard that they tell that my ancestral hometown, Bela, is in some kind of trouble. They've opened their borders for the first time I know of, and are specifically seeking to hire Kendrin. That's their word for outsiders, like you. Would you be willing to go see what they need? How do you know this? My water goes to scouts to keep a distant eye on Bela, to make sure that it is still there, still safe. I have never been with a parasang of my people's land, but I know exactly where the once hidden village stands. I will share this knowledge with you if you agree to consider whatever their request may be. And who are you? My name is Lulahart. The blood of the Hindrin runs through my veins, but two of my three parents were Kendrin, so that blood is dilute. And salt brine from being born out here. Dilute, salty blood. Heh. Um, why do you care about Bela? Even blood as thin as mine ties me to the Servidian Meadow. The Hindrin may not say so, but they are my family. Why don't you go there yourself? I am not welcome in Bela. My blood is not pure. I was not born in the meadow. These things make me make my name as salt in the mouths of the true Hindrin. They are misguided, but they are my misguided family. All right, very well. I will go to Bela as you ask. Bless you, friend. I feel better knowing that at least one Kendrin will reach back to aid my kin. Let me advise you of Bela's location, and here is the little chew boon for your trouble. Thank you. We got some yonder cane. Cool. Now we have this quest. All right, let's go into library. Now, it's a shame we don't have a lot of stuff to sell at this point. Um, and there are tons of shops around this area. All right, so here we are in the temple. And we don't have any books either. Here's the librarian of the stilt, Shiba Hagadias. 
Uh, Live and Learn Wanderer, have you come across any books or scrolls? He will give you experience, I think, for books, um, which is really nice. Where is the library? Oh, we're in the first phase of its foundation. Uh, the church has amassed a splendid collection of scripts through the years. Glorious Shechina, praise be upon him, gifted us with several caches. The Aramites work day and night, reproducing them in the scriptorium, and I have taken it upon myself to beseech travelers, for the rarest finds often come from the least likely places. Uh, what use is a library in this salt den, or in the marshes, strangled by wild plants and poisoned by the glow? Wouldn't a stash of vine reapers serve us better? Uh, you share the pessimism of my kin and several of the priests as well. My heart hears you, but listen to my words, and maybe you will come to feel as I do. To devalue wisdom is to devalue the cassifescence. She shines in the void, refracting light, illuminating those around her. So does the written wisdom of our elders. The machinery of Chromerium is complex in its divinity. Don't we do a disservice to our fathers when we remain ignorant of it, of our past, of our future? Don't we deserve the joy of knowing? Bless uh, Eschel Stott the second first child for he believes as I do. Okay, thank you. We don't have any books to give. I don't think, right? Yeah, no books. Um, here, um, we have we can uh, give artifacts, and each artifact is this reputation with the mechanimus. That's why I saved this electrified bronze dagger. I'm gonna throw it in there. And our reputation with the mechanist uh, changed by one. Um, let's throw in a box of crayons. Um, metal folding chair. <laughs> uh, anything else? Don't think so. So that's nice. It's just an easy way of getting reputation with mechanimist. Uh, okay. And up here, we have Eschelstadt the second high priest of the stilt. Do the water ritual with you. Now Mechanimus like us a lot more. Frogs like us more. Um, oh, and you will teach us proselytize, which is a huge skill if we can get enough reputation with you. So right now you can only give us 100 reputation. We'll take it. We'll give you a couple of locations. But that's all we can do right now. So reputations is 203, but... So he's a mechanimus. So if we give enough artifacts, he can teach us proselytize. And if we give enough after that, he will join us. So that's cool. And over here, hey, is that the glorious Shekhinah? Kind of. It's a hologram. Glorious Shekhinah, uh, Argent Adonis, and First Father poses in luminous mummery. With the stature of the ageless stars, fixed and permanent, he appraises the temple erected in his honor and cocks his head in approval. Befitting the memory of his union with the Cassifescence, he clothes his manifestation in cerulean shades, forsaking the viridians and russets of the lowly plants and clay earth. Cool. Um, yeah. So that's that. And then there are a bunch of statues in here of Shekhinah and Karthax. Um... There's Reshef, but these don't give us information. There's Dagon, Bell, Nisroch. Cool. So that's the temple. Um, and yeah, I don't think... I think there are other places you can go that just get you to, like, outside the temple. So the Six-Day Still area is a cool place. There are tons of shops like this. Here's one that sells food. Um, there are all kinds of shops that sell all kinds of things around here. There's another food shop. And we'll check it out. I think it's a 3x3 three three area of shops and townsfolk. Uh, no, no, no. This is exotic liquids. So, like, let's check that out. Ichor Merchant. So you have glass bottles filled with all kinds of stuff that we might want to use for different crafting. Um... It would be really nice to get a recoiler to the six-day stilt. What is this guy? A clone of Sad Amos, the Sky Bear and Mechanimus convert. I would love to talk to you. Yeah, you just have the book that worshippers of the six-day stilt have. Live and drink. Uh, interesting. What is this stuff? Fungicide. Interesting. Um, there can also be weeps around this area. What were you attacking? You're attacking that ray cat? You're a cat herder and you're attacking the ray... Wow! Dude, you killed your cat! 
You killed all these cats. Oh my gosh. Someone needs to call the police on you. Preserved foods. Oh, so those are preserved foods. These are normal foods. Ouch. I stepped on the thorns. If we got into cooking, we would want to do that. Yeah, back in the salt desert. But let's go down a tile. Nope, not up here either. Uh, then up here. Yeah, here's stuff. Whoops. You can find armor shops, weapon shops, which I think we'd be more interested in right now. Yeah, here's one that sells ranged weapons, I think. Yep, yeah, but nothing too exciting. How do you not let us identify that? Whatever. Uh, food. What is this one? Spiced cider. Just a shop that sells spiced cider. And I think we can go up one more here. What do we got? More preserves. This one is grenades. And look at all these folks. These are all mechanimists. Uh, this looks like stylish cloaks. We'll talk to you. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Like, what does this one do? Uh, plus two dodge while occupying the same tile as uh, foliage. Foliage? Foliage. Foliage. Scarlet shawl. Yeah, okay. Not too exciting, really. Whoops. Walking through. Uh, smoke lounge. Uh, is it, are you the one? No? All right, whatever. People are just hanging out there, getting stoned or something. Um, so more, another cloak store. Um, Banner of the Holy Rhombus. Bestows the war trance effect to the Putus Templar who can see this item. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, that's cool. Uh, is this another hookah lounge? Oh, that's wine. It's a wine shop. Um, going down here, I think it's more of the temple. Yeah, this is part of the temple. There's a cemetery in there. But over here... Yeah, more shops in the stilt grounds. More preserves. We're not being very lucky in finding, like, armor or weapon shops in this randomly generated stilt town. Wine. Um, more cloaks. More hookahs. Uh, this is kind of nuts. Uh, what is this one? What is this? Build your own artifacts. That's more interesting. We'll talk to you. You just have some data disks. We'll take a look. Freeze grenades. Phase shift grenades. Poison gas grenades. Yeah, okay. We'll go down. Another hookah lounge. More food. There. That's an armor shop. I think. Or maybe it's just clothes. No, vest and mail. Okay. So no weapons, but we have this. Um, also not really too exciting. Wool kit. What is that? Oh, a kilt, not kit. Kilt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got this person herding slimes over here. And that's... That's it. Wait, what is this shop? Oh, that's food. Yeah, all right. So we've explored the stilt. No weapon shops. It's kind of pathetic here. I think I do want to talk to Warden Esters here, but let's um wait till morning. And then can we talk to you? You're still snoring. When you're going to wake up. Still snoring. Why are you all red? Why are you bloody? 
emo boss. Just like by urchins for telling dirty jokes. Um, wait 20 turns at a time here. We are hungry. How much water do we have? I think we probably, I think we have a lot. But let's, yeah, we've got a pretty good amount. Uh, let's, con let's um, combine our honey. Okay, we could probably combine some of our water too. Um, seriously, what's with this warden? Why won't he wake up? Not warden. Uh, wait, warden? Yeah, warden. Warden's Esther. Lying on bedroll. I want to talk to you. Oh, you moved. I waited too many turns. Okay. Hello. Praise be to Shekinah, O Sovereign Fathers, at last I'm here. So many folks. Aye, aye, the clamor of it all can overwhelm. The glow crow... Glow crows say it was a bird god who taught folks to gather like this in large flocks. So blame the birds. It's colossal, beautiful. I see why the crumb stewards gather here. Then you're not of the faith yourself, huh? Me neither. Do go inside, though. She's a beauty. Got dyed glass high in her rafters. She does. And two marvelous carvings on the wings. Plus a light sculpture of a god. Hear the sermon, too, as you like. The high priest is persuasive, but not half as persuasive as the cathedral herself. In beauty, there is power, you know. Either way, while you're in the cathedral or on the stilts ground, stay peaceful. Is it a petrified kraken? Who knows? I wonder it myself. Sometimes she'll catch my eye when the moon's silver bright and she's there bearing down on the flats. Whatever she is, she's gigantic and old, real old, way older than the cathedral the mechanicus built inside her. But a grand bazaar. What's in each of the tents? Food? Hookah? Um, yeah. Yeah, we didn't find any book binders either. Really uh, bad rolls on the shops, I think. Uh, live and drink. Is there anything else we can... We can do the water ritual with you. Let's do that. Um, highly entropic beings like us less. That's interesting. You could teach us hot and spiny. That would be nice. Uh, let's do that. And let's share some secrets with you. Cool. Live and drink. Okay. So, I guess we leave this place. So, let's take a look. So... We just got a new quest to go to Bela. I don't think I want to do that yet. I think first we go to Gritgate. So, uh, which is the quest that we got at Tamrakish. Let's go back to Tamrakish. Uh, we may also want to do some fighting and get our companion leveled up. Maybe go back to Red Rock. So uh, either way, I think we use our recoiler. So we get out of the... We don't have um, the fasting way. So we use a lot of water being in the salt desert. So let's use uh, our recoiler, which I can never remember where it is. Um, what's wrong with me? Tools. Uh, and go back to Tamrakish. We will put the solar cell in there and activate it. Cool. And then we will... Oh, it's still full. Um, whoops, didn't mean to go up. Uh, while we're here, is there anything we want to do? I don't think so. I think we're just going to go to Red Rock. Um, and I think this will be good. We can explore here. We can get some better equipment for our companion. Uh, we can definitely take what's in here now. Like these horned chameleons are nothing to me now. Oh, wait, they're not even hostile to me now um, because of our scaled buckler. So that's cool. Um, so I think we've already explored all this. Let's go down. Um, and we can find a lot of interesting stuff in Red Rock Caverns. We might be able to get another level up while we're down here. What is that? We're fleeing from the Dreadroot. Fine. Destroy all these. Uh, this thing is a prickler. We can just kill it. Yeah. I don't want to get near the Jilted Lover, I don't think. Or do I care? They're not like Kudzu. They won't... Yeah, we can just kill them. Oh. 
Snapchat Warlord. All these things are no problem. Where did our companion go? Oh, he's stuck in the dragonflies. Come on, dragonflies. Come on. Good. All right. Let's check out this chest. Nothing too great. Um, yeah, if we find some... Okay. I got to be a little careful because this guy's going to light everything on fire. So now we have to wait for this fire to go out. Because there's just this burning, flaming trash there. I guess I can get next to it and... I think it went out. Okay. Robe, furs, bronze longsword. You're wearing scaled leather armor. You could use some some gloves. You could use more... You could use better weaponry. I mean, it's a good weapon. You're decently equipped. What just happened? Oh, I got stunned? What? Um, stunning force? Sir, wait, hold on. What were those, some of those messages? Uh, I, I can't remember the message history. Control M. Um, what happened here? Stunning force. Um, that's it. Yeah, I guess Yemo boss used some kind of force attack and it pushed us back. Okay, I guess that's fine. Uh, what did I just do? I hit space. Was that the wrong thing to hit? Um, no, that's interact. I think we just went down the stairs with that. Jeez, the fire. Um, I mean, that's fine. It could be a lot worse if this guy had... Um, some like area of effect spells uh, or that one that does uh, that creates the poisonous plants like that can be really dangerous this is all right this might come in very handy what is this a flaming club all right we can trade that in at a uh, six day stilt and again I wish we had a six day stilt recoiler I don't know if that's something you can get so what did you just do I don't know. Maybe he used his force attack again. Jeez. This guy's tough. Even though he's easy to us, he's uh, he's doing a really good job. We don't seem to have to worry too much about protecting him. But also, we want to be careful that he doesn't die. There's a lot of we wasted reputation there. Oh, sap. We'll take that. A uh, small violet tube. A salve injector. Great. And a stun gas grenade. Very nice. <laughs> Dude, it's this guy. It's our friend stunning us. We took three damage from his stunning force. That's not cool, man. Do I have to be that careful of you? You're just going to keep stunning us? Totally not cool. How did I get... I'm not even in your... I, I intentionally moved to the north so that you wouldn't stun me. It's not like it's hurting us a lot. Ooh, sturdy studded leather armor. We might give that to him. Uh, in fact, I think we will get rid of the centipede. Jewel encrusted furs. Okay. All right, dude. Can we talk about your tactics? Uh, take this. Uh, there's a something we can do to change tactics, right? Something in the key mappings. Talk. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, can't talk tactics at this point. All right, let's go down. 
<laughs> dude. Dude. You stun us for three turns. All constantly. Can I just tell you not to use that? I'm not sure what to do about this. Um Stop stunning us. I don't know what all right. I'm gonna put a cut in here. I'm gonna look up if there's anything that we can do about this, because this is stupid. Um I mean we could I think we can tell him to change his tactics, I think, somehow. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I enjoyed playing with you today. I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.